cast your deadly doing down, down at Jesus' feet. Stand in him and him alone, gloriously complete. To the one who does not work but trusts, rests in God, who justifies the ungodly, their faith is credited as righteousness. The Lord appeared to us in the past, saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness, or cords of kindness. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. The gospel is the power of God for the salvation of all who believe. The eternal God is your refuge, and underneath are the everlasting arms. Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds. Father, I wouldn't be seeking you and praying in desperation so much if I wasn't suffering like this. So thank you, God, for this suffering, because it is drawing me closer to you, and you are using it to make me more like your son, Jesus. Amen. For we know that God causes all things to work together for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose. Everything is needful that he sends. Nothing can be needful that he withholds. John Newton. Though you have made me see troubles, many and bitter, you will restore my life again. Yes, my soul, find rest in God. My hope comes from him. Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. Repent. Run after Jesus as number one. Elevate. Elevation. Seek heaven. Panting. End your search for other lovers. New. Do something new for Jesus and others. Remember that you are new in Jesus. Try again. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. I long to dwell in your tent forever and take refuge in the shelter of your wings. The entire law is summed up in a single command. Love your neighbors yourself. If you keep on biting and devouring each other, watch out, or you will be destroyed by each other. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge the sinful nature. Devote yourselves to prayer, being watchful and thankful. You will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. Let each of us please his neighbor for his, own, for his good, to build him up, for even Messiah, Christ, did not please himself. Let no one seek his own good, but the good of his neighbor. After the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire, and after the fire came a low, gentle whisper. <sighs> he is the God who makes me strong who makes my pathway straight. I am the way. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not be afraid. Do not be anxious about anything. But in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Be imitators of God, therefore, as dearly loved children, and live a life of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his name endures forever. Amen. For you, God, tested us. You refined us like silver. You brought us into prison and laid burdens on our backs. 
You let people ride over our heads. We went through fire and water, but you brought us to a place of abundance. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. And my God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. In his heart, a man, Josh, plans his course, but the Lord, Yahweh, determines his steps. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us, will be able to separate Josh from the love of God that is in Christ, the Messiah, Jesus our Lord. For now we see indistinctly as in a mirror, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then I will know fully as I am fully known. I delight greatly in the Lord. My soul rejoices in my God, for he has clothed me with garments of salvation and arrayed me in a robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom adorns his head like a priest, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. I know what I have planned for you, says the Lord. I have plans to prosper you, not to harm you. I have plans to give you a future filled with hope. Jesus is my future. Jesus is my hope. Jesus is God's plan for me, for us. Matthew 28, Matthew 11. The man said, let me go for it is daybreak. But Jacob replied, I will not let you go unless you bless me. The man asked him, what is your name? Jacob, he answered. Then the man said, your name will no longer be Jacob, but Israel because you have wrestled with God and with men and have overcome. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, Yahweh, is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. <clears throat> I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. In the life I live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Who loved me and gave himself for me. The secret things belong to the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever, that we may do all the words of this law. Pray continually. Whom have I in heaven but you, Jesus? And there is nothing on earth I desire compared to you, Jesus. My flesh and heart may fail, but you, Jesus, are my God, the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Nevertheless, I am continually with you, Jesus. You hold my right hand, Jesus. You guide me with your counsel, Jesus. And afterward, you will receive me to glory, Jesus. You are my glory, Jesus. I cried out to him with my mouth. His praise was on my tongue. If I had cherished sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But God has surely listened and has heard my prayer. Praise be to God, who has not rejected my prayer or withheld his love from me. Behold, I have engraved you, Josh, on the palms of my hands. Your walls, those of your house, are continually before me. We all, with unveiled face, beholding the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. The Lord has given me the tongue of those who are taught, that I may know how to sustain with a word him who is weary. Morning by morning he awakens. He awakens my ear to hear as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I turned not backward. He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth increaseth strength. The difference is Christ in me, not me in a different set of circumstances. Elizabeth Elliot Though the mountains be shaken and the hills be removed, yet my unfailing love for you will not be shaken, nor my covenant of peace be removed. Amen. No one is able to come to me unless the Father who sent me has drawn him. No one is able to come towards me unless it has been given to him 
from my Father. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not yourself from my plea for mercy. Attend to me and answer me. I am restless in my complaint and I moan because of the noise of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked. My heart is in anguish within me. The terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling come upon me, and horror overwhelms me. And I say, Oh, that I had wings like a dove. I would fly away and be at rest. Yes, I would wander far away. I would lodge in the wilderness. I would hurry to find a shelter from the raging wind and tempest. But I call to God, and the Lord will save me. Evening and morning and at noon, I utter my complaint and moan, and he hears my voice. Apart from me, you can do nothing. All authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. May the God of all hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough. And my God will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. I've learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. One thing I ask of the Lord, this is what I seek that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Jesus and God's people are the temple. John 2, Ephesians 2, 1 Peter 2. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear, awe, wonder, amazement, centrality, Knowing, reverence of the Lord, Yahweh, Adonai, is the beginning of wisdom. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Do nothing from selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better or more significant than yourselves. Satan's angel did his best to get me down. What he did, in fact, was push me to my knees. Whoever gets sense loves his own soul. He who keeps understanding will discover good. I am weak, you are strong. Your weakest strength is greater than my greatest weakness. If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. The one believing into me, just as the scripture said, rivers out of his belly will flow of living water. You, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you. In a dry and weary, parched land where there is no water, I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live. And in your name I will lift up my hands. Give thanks for everything. To God the Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. On you I wait all the day. Underneath are the everlasting arms. 1 John 4.4, 4, 4, 4.18, 2 Timothy 1.7, Genesis 32, 1 Kings 19.12. 3 to 4.30 a.m., wrestling with God against the accuser. God blessed me from his word. Exodus 90 and 20 minutes of silence. John 14.26, gentle low whisper, earnest prayer, crying out for mercy because of Christ's blood. January 16th, 2024, petition and fast regarding Jerem's fear. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. 
O God, save me by your name and vindicate me by your might. O God, hear my prayer. Give ear to the words of my mouth. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is the upholder of my life. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me, test me, and know my anxious thoughts. And see if there be any hurtful or offensive way in me. And lead me in the everlasting way. Jesus, you are the way. The Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy at your right hand, our pleasures forevermore. John fifteen eleven, Hebrews 1, 3. Above all else, guard your heart, for it is the wellspring of life. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind, self-discipline. Cast all your anxiety on him. He cares for you. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord Yahweh is good and his love endures forever. If anyone keeps on being thirsty, let him keep on coming towards me, and let him keep drinking. The person who keeps on believing into me, just as the scripture said, rivers out of his heart, out of the heart of him, which I believe is the Messiah, will flow living water. This he said concerning the spirit whom was about to receive They were about to receive those who were believing into him. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. Amen. We take every thought captive to make it obedient to Christ. Do not worry about tomorrow. According to God's great mercy, He has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. I gave my back to those who strike and my cheeks to those who pull out the beard. I hid not my face from disgrace and spitting, but the Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength, who strengthens me, who is my strength. The eternal God is your refuge. He will thrust out the enemy from before you and will say, destroy. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. But you remain the same, and your years will never end. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. God did this so that men would seek him and perhaps reach out for him and find him, though he is not far from each one of us. For in him we live and move and have our being. As some of your own poets have said, we are his offspring. Fasting. Jerem's fears. Tim's sleep. Julie's sleep. Sam, Adelaide, Jerem, Julie, my own faith as a family. Give everything to me, Josh, son, child. Okay, Dad. But can I keep just a little bit? Why? Because I don't trust you, Dad? Why? Because I'm mad at you, Dad? I'm not mad anymore, God. Why? Because I'm hurting, Dad. Why? Because things haven't gone my way, Dad. Would that have been what's best for you, son, child? I don't know. Do I know? Yes. Would it have been best for me? No. My son, 
I always give you what you would have asked for if you knew everything that I know. I cause all things to work together for your good because you love me, because you have been called according to my purpose. And I am shaping and forming you into the image of my son, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, God. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Remove the pride and envy and vainglory and gluttony and greed and lust and sloth and sadness and wrath anger and selfishness pride remove these things from my heart oh God only you can do it I give myself to you help me to love others that you send me to You are everything I need, God. You are all I need, God. I trust you, Father. I give everything to you. I accept your grace today for the sins of my heart. For the sins of my mouth. And the sins of my thoughts, words, and deeds. Forgive me and have mercy on me. For you are good and merciful and kind and generous. The Lord, the Lord, a God merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Hmm. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your path straight. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God so that no one may boast. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, who are laboring and heavy laden, carrying heavy burdens. Come to me and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly, mm. meek and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I am the Alpha and the Omega beginning and the end. 
to the thirsty I will give to drink. As a gift from the spring of the water of life. Without payment. Created be a clean heart, O God. And renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence. And take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. And uphold me with a willing spirit. A broken and contrite heart you will not despise. A broken and contrite heart you will not despise. A broken and contrite heart you will not despise. O God, give me a broken and contrite heart. O God, give me a broken and contrite heart. O God, give me a broken and contrite heart. A bruised reed he will not break. A smoldering wick will not he will not snuff out. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our transgressions from us. If you, O Lord, kept a record of sins, O Lord, who could stand? But with you there is forgiveness, therefore you are feared. If we say we have no sin, we are deceiving ourselves, then the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yes, Lord. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him and he with me. To the one who overcomes, I will give to sit with me on my Father's throne as I overcame and sat down on my Father's throne. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Neither can you, unless you abide in me. Neither can you unless you abide in me. Neither can you unless you abide in me. Amen.